Hello, this is Dale. Module 1, Fundamentals. Fundamentals are kind of a lost art. I worked for DuPont for 35 years. I started out as a mechanical engineer, got my MBA at night school, migrated into the world of finance, found out the importance of financially strong companies and how they outperform the market. I think knowing the fundamentals of corporations and putting them together in your portfolio of, of stocks, in your basket of stocks, is a good, solid way to start your business. I'm going to show you how financially strong companies have outperformed the market, and I'm going to compare them for 10 years versus the S&P 500, the general index of the market. Now, I don't just buy and sell financially strong companies. I get in and out, in and out, and I use the weekly MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, as my main indicator to tell me when to get out of one of these stocks because they are not oblivious to the total market and when the total market gets pulled down they will get pulled down also I want to have an indicator that tells me to get out then I want to have an indicator that tells me to, when to get back in I'm going to talk about how I find financially strong companies then the importance of cash flow cash flow is all the money the corporation made not just the earnings or the profit. Um, everybody talks in the Wall Street Journal and so forth about earnings per share, price to earnings ratio. I'm going to talk to you about a number that is much more powerful than earnings and that would be the cash from operations. You will then know more than 95 percent of all investors as the importance of this number. Then I'm going to go over the current portfolio that we now have. This current portfolio is updated once a year, and I send all my mentees a copy of the changes when they're made. Some have different fiscal years. Not every all companies close their books on December 31st and open January 1. Some do it mid-year. And when the data becomes available, I pass that along to all my mentees. This is a stock chart of the S&P 500 weekly, going all the way back to the year 2000. And you can see from the year 2000 to about 2003, the market had a general dip. Then from 3 all the way up to mid-7, the market had a nice rise. Then we had the catastrophic drop in 2008 where a lot of people's 401ks took a massive hit. Then we've had a tremendous rebound from the beginning of 2009 until current. But when you look at the general market and we go back to 2000, we were right around, let's call it 140. Where are we today? Right around 115. The general market in the last 10 years has been down. I want to show you now how financially strong companies have done versus the general market. This chart, what we've done is normalize the S&P 500. This yellow, or excuse me, the black line here is the S&P 500 normalized, and I'm comparing financially strong stocks to how the S&P 500 has done. I'm looking at some stocks like Caterpillar, CAT, Devon Energy, DVN, Monsanto, MON, and Cummings Engine, CMI. Look at how they have outperformed the market. 
Cummings Engine has outperformed the market about 800% over the last 10 years. Monsanto was up as high as 1100% and has had a dip. Caterpillar and Devon Energy are right around 200%. All these are financially strong corporations. All these have outperformed the market. This kind of flies in the face of random walk theory or you can't beat the market. This fundamental side of looking at financially strong stocks, putting those into your portfolio will help you to have an edge over the rest of the investors in the market. Now, here, take a look in 2008, mid-2008 until the beginning of 2009. The general market was down, and so were the financially strong corporations. All right, let's take a look at how we can avoid get rid of my pen first. How can we avoid that? Enter the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, and not the daily MACD, but the weekly MACD. The daily MACD is prone to whipsaws. I attended the Traders Expo last November, and a statistician was talking about the daily MACD. The daily MACD, as used in an indicator, does provide a positive expectation. However, I went up to him after the presentation and said, I follow the weekly MACD. He said, I've just started to do some work around the weekly MACD, and it appears far superior. The weekly MACD was highly touted by Dr. Alexander Elder. And Dr. Elder has been professional for many years. He touts the weekly MACD. The weekly MACD is a very powerful indicator. Let's take a look at 2008. Here we are in 2008. Uh, actually, let's go back to, to the end of 2007 when the MACD, we're looking at a chart of Cummings Engine. The MACD, uh, when the, the, the solid line, which is the signal line, goes below the dotted line, that's a signal to get out. Right around here was a signal to get out of Cummings Engine. And we were out until mm, early 2008, it said get back in. Well, here's where we were mid uh, early 2008, and it did say to get back in. So we avoided this drop. We got this rise, and then it said get out. It said get out right around here when Cummings Engine was sitting right about 65. We completely avoided the drop in 2008 when Cummings Engine, a financially strong corporation, went from 65 all the way down to 20. It's a big drop. It's a big drop. But look at the MACD. The MACD then said, get in. Get in the first portion of, uh, of 2009. And we have ridden it from 20 back up to 80. Look at the power of the MACD. We've taken Cummings Engine from 10 up to about 70, 7x increase in seven years, then got out, then took it from 45 back up to 70, then got out and took it from 20 back up to 80. Combination of the fundamentals and the technicals, the fundamentals being financially strong corporations, the technical being the weekly MACD has made Cummings Engine a gold mine of opportunity.